Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Genie. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Valorant not responding on launch and Valorant black screen while launching the Valorant game. I will be sharing few effective solutions that you need to apply one by one and I'm very sure that your problem will be fixed. And if this works for you, do not forget to like and subscribe. For any question, let me know in the comment section. So the first thing that you will have to do, you need to close your Riot and Vanguard and Valorant game completely from your Windows 10 or Windows 11. So look for your Windows icon, right click on it and then click on Task Manager. Now here from the top menu option, click on Details. Then scroll down and look for any file related to Riot. If you get it, right click on it and choose end process tree. You can look for the rest of the file here. I can see one more Riot client. So I will right click on it and choose end process tree. So you just need to make sure that there is no file of Riot or Valorant is running in the background. All right, so I found few more. So I will right click on it and process tree. And now I can see that there is no file related to Riot or Vanguard is running. Now you can close task manager. Next, you have to open your file explorer. Then click on this PC from the left menu Then go to local disk C. Here you have to look for Riot games. Double click on it. Then you will find Valorant. Double click on Valorant, then on live. And here you will find Valorant game icon. Okay, so you have to right click on it and choose properties. Now click on the compatibility tab from the top menu option and check the option of disable full screen optimization and run this program as an administrator. Then click on apply and then click on OK. Now here from here only you have to click on shooter game folder, then on binaries, then on V64. And here you have to scroll down and you will find Valorant V64 shipping. Right click on it, choose properties, do the same job here, click on the compatibility. Check disable full screen optimization and run this program as an admin Then click apply and then click on OK. Now from the task manager only, you also need to make sure that if there is any other kind of application running uh, like your Razer or Discord or any other application, then you have to close it. All right. So right now there is no other application running on my computer. But if you find any kind of other application software running, then you have to close it. And after that, you can try launching your Valorant game and see that if the problem has been fixed. And if not, then reopen your Valorant game again. Click on yes. Once this page comes up, you will see some kind of downloading. So if there is any download available, update available, then you have to go ahead and update it. And then you can also minimize it now. Again, open your task manager. Then from the top menu option, click on details. Now here you have to look for Riot Games. Once you get it, Riot Client Services, you have to make a right click on it. Or up to set priority and choose it to high. Click on change priority again. Do the same with the other Riot Client file running here. So once you are done with all the Riot Client file here, then you have to close it. And now we also need to make some changes with the system variable and even add the game path to the high graphic performance so that the Valorant game can run in the high graphics. On your desktop, you have to look for the Valorant game icon. Once you get it, right click on it, choose open file location. Now copy the path of this file location here. Click on the box, right click on it and choose copy. Then you can close it. Now click on your search box, type here graphic. From the suggestion, click on graphic settings. The graphic setting option will be up. Click on browse. Then on the top address box, you have to click and delete everything and then paste the path that you just copied. Hit enter. Now here you will get Riot Client Services. Click on it and then click on add. So Riot Client will now be added. Here you have to click on options and then click high performance. Then click on save. Once done, you have to close it. Next, again, you have to click on the search box, type sysdm cpl system properties will be up here from the top menu option click on advanced at the bottom you will find environment variable click on it in the system variable box you have to click on new now here you have to enter the variable name and the variable value this variable name and the variable value you will be getting in the description you have to copy the variable name copy and paste in the variable name 
copy the variable value and paste in the variable value box then click on ok and now click on ok again next you also need to try updating your graphic driver if you have any kind of outdated driver then you can have the same problem right click on the windows icon click on device manager from the list device manager will be up here you have to look for display adapter double click on it and then it will display your graphic driver it can be amd intel or nvidia whichever it is right click on it and choose update driver then click search automatically for driver and if there is update available it will automatically update it and it says windows X successfully updated your driver so after doing all these settings and finally you have to check your game now and i'm very sure that your problem will be fixed in case still if you have the problem then you can try restarting your pc and again check back so let me know in the comment section guys which method worked for you and do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye